In this video, you're going to learn how to replace the back camera on the iPhone 5. Now you can see this camera here is not working, it's stuck. So um, whenever I try to turn on, um, the screen is not showing the camera, so the back camera is frozen. So we can replace it with a new part. You can order online uh, fairly cheaply. First we're going to turn off the phone. Now down the bottom, take out the two screws. So the two pentalop screws is next to the charging port. Now just um, pry up the screen once the screw is removed. As you can see here, using a uh, using a suction cup, pull up the glass, and using a pry tool to uh, pull up. As you can see there, now we open up the screens. So lift up the screen at 90 degrees, make sure that you do not pass the 90 degrees angle. Take out the three screws here. Then we move the metal bracket. Next we're going to pry out the connectors. There are three connectors that you need to pry out. And then there's another one underneath this. So pry out these three connectors. Now take out the SIM tray. And we move the three screws right there, as you can see in this video. Now we move the screws up here as well. There's another one right there that you need to remove so that you can take out the bracket covering the flashlight. So we move the bracket. We go down here, we're going to remove the metal bracket that's covering the charging uh, port in the battery connector. Okay, next we remove the flex cable of the batteries and the charging port flex cable. So pry it up and pull it back. Next you want to remove the antenna cables and remove the screws right there. And then remove these uh, two cables. And uh, once it is removed, it will expose the screws at the middle. If the video is going too fast, you can pause it. So remove these screws right here. Now remove the flex cable, the power flex cable. At the top here, there are two screws. Remove these two screws and turn the phone over and push down the flashlight. So turn the phone over and the uh, motherboard is now ready to be removed or turn over. Now there is an antenna cable that you need to take out, so pull out the antenna cable right there. So here it is, that's the cable right there. Remove the cable. Next, turn the board over and remove the metal bracket that's holding down the camera. Disconnect the camera. Now put a new camera back on and uh, connect it down, push it down to connect to the board. We will put the metal bracket back on and put the two screws on. So there it is. So we put the two screws on. Okay, now we need to remove the flashlight cover from the old camera over to the new piece. So detach from the old camera and we're going to put it onto the new one. So attach it. That's it. So attach it and uh, push it down. Okay, now we're going to connect the um, antenna cable back to the board and turn the board over. And then after that, we're going to connect the cable. So put the bot into the housing. Make sure all the bot is lined up properly. We're going to push down the camera and the flashlight. So there it is, push down the camera. Then flashlight. So it's with the flashlight turn over to make sure that it is uh, sit in place correctly now go down and we're going to put the swirl in the middle back on two swirls at the top we're going to put the metal bracket back on there are two swirls as well, so put back the two swirls onto the metal bracket that's holding down the flashlight. Now we put the swirl back on. 
that's next to the camera port. So there it is. We're going to put the two uh, cable back in. So push it down and it will connect to the board. We go down and connect the charging port and the battery connector. Now we're going to uh, connect the antenna right there, just above the speaker. We'll connect back the power flex cable and the volume key. Go down and put the two, two switches back on. Right there. Now we'll put the metal bracket on top and we'll secure it with a screws. There's another one going right there. We'll put the screw back on, two screws. Next, we'll put the three flex cable, the screen, attach it to the board, and then put the bracket, metal bracket over and secure with a screws. And then you can put the screen back in. So then put the SIM tray back in. And finally, we can secure the screen with a two pentelope screws. That's it. And finally, you can power on your phone and test out the camera. So turn on the camera and give it a test to make sure it works properly. And there you go. Try to take a photo. Try to focus, take a photo, zoom in and see how you go with the pictures. And that's it. That's uh, is how you can replace the back camera on the iPhone 5. Thank you for watching this video.